WWDC is a little less than a month away now, and this year's developers conference is expected to be jam-packed with new product announcements and software updates that should get everyone excited. And so in this video, we're gonna go over a few, maybe like five of the biggest announcements that we expect to see at WWDC 2023. Now, obviously the first one on the list, the one that's going to garner every major headline, all of the attention on news, every single bit of your life is going to be consumed by this major product, and that is tvOS 17. I'm just kidding. Obviously, we're going to be talking about the mixed reality headset that I feel like we know like so much about, yet I know absolutely nothing. I cannot speak in absolutes when it comes to this product. You really shouldn't do that with rumors anyways, but the headset, which is currently rumored to be named Reality One or Reality Pro, will be the company's first new product category since the 2015 launch of this little guy right here, the Apple Watch. Now I've done countless videos about this. We've mentioned it a ton over on the Mac Rumors Show podcast. So be sure to subscribe and follow that podcast so you don't miss all of the information. But just to highlight a few points here, we are expecting the headset uh, to use dual 4K micro OLED displays from Sony for 8K total resolution and a display quality that exceeds the display quality available from competing products. Dozens of cameras will be included for mapping environments, your facial expressions, your hand gestures, and your leg movements. The headset is controlled by hand gestures, maybe some kind of minority report thing, via the cameras that I just mentioned, and there will be no battery built into the headset. It's going to be nice and comfortable on your head, but you're going to have an external battery attached via a cord and worn in a pouch around your waist, which I am still very suspect on. Not sure how Apple's gonna sell that to me, but I am looking forward to them doing that. Again, there's so much that I feel like we know, but loads of information that Apple will still need to provide at WWDC, and so I'm just ready to stop talking about this product, about what it might or could be, and start talking about what it is and what it can do. I also just did a full video about our next announcement, but we're expecting a brand new 15 inch MacBook Air. This MacBook Air should basically be an exact replica of the current 13 inch MacBook Air with the M2 chip, except it will be slightly bigger with a display size of around 15 and a half inches. The M3 is not expected for this machine, so you're looking at an M2 with likely eight and 10 core GPU variants offered. Also, expect the same colors of Space Gray, Starlight, and Midnight. The next major release of iOS, iOS 17, will also be making headlines, even though we're not expecting to have, you know, these huge major overhaul of existing features like the new lock screen that we got with iOS 16, but we are expecting to have some of the more requested features that iPhone users have been clamoring for. And so here are a few things that we are expecting to see in iOS 17. For starters, rumors have indicated a dedicated journaling app for tracking and recording daily activities, similar to like the day one app that already exists from a fantastic third-party developer, but with more integration with Apple's core apps and functions. I'm not entirely sure who was out there clamoring for a journaling app, but that is one of the newest rumors that we've heard lately. But we're also expecting a revamped control center interface, more interactive widgets, or just interactive widgets in general, finally, uh, more functionality for the dynamic island, improved search functionality, and health and wallet app redesigns along with so much more. So again, be sure to follow macrumors.com and the macrumors.com YouTube channel, which is what you're watching right now. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our hands-on with iOS 17. Now, what will be a supposed major redesign is watchOS. This could be one of the biggest watchOS updates that we've had in recent years, with Mark Gurman describing it as fairly extensive. And we expect to see new improvements for watchOS 10, like a new widget style system that will make it easier to get key information on the Apple Watch without the need to actually open up an app. And now this will be scrollable and will allow glances at activity tracking, weather calendar appointments, and so much more. Again, think of it kind of like the glances feature, uh, but you know, a little bit improved and more like the widgets that we have in iOS. We're also expecting buttons like the digital crown. That could be more customizable here with users able to choose to have a press open up the widgets interface rather than you know the home screen or whatever you might wanna set it to. And then Apple could also over 
overhaul the Apple Watch home screen in some way, offering a more intuitive layout than the app grid, which looks nice, but is not super functional. And then most people just go to the list view and then it takes forever to find the app you're still looking for. And last but not least, iPad OS, Mac OS, and TV OS, we're all expecting to see you know updates to those. Uh, platforms and some are offering more notable changes than others. But the one announcement, that's kind of the fifth announcement, but I'm gonna talk about this wildcard announcement that could end up happening, which is the Apple Silicon Mac Pro. Now we've been waiting for a device like this for quite some time now. Apple has mentioned that it's like expected to be coming any time now. Apple mentioned it at a keynote. They don't usually hint at new products, but said, you know, that this is the last one we're expecting to see updated to its own Apple Silicon. And so rumors have been suggesting that a similar version to the current Mac Pro basically gonna look the same, but with Apple's own chips inside are on the way. Unfortunately, some rumors suggest that it could be an M3 product, in which case it's possible that we don't actually get like an announcement and then you can order it right away. But I'm hopeful that Apple will actually show off what this new version of its modular computer can do, because there are a lot of questions around how can you update certain things like you could with the last, you know, 2019 Mac Pro with Apple Silicon, since a lot of the updated things rely on the one system on a chip here. So uh, I'm hoping that Apple will show it off at, you know, June and WWDC and then kind of have it ready for release later in the year, kind of like what they did with that 2019 Mac Pro. But of course, we will have every bit of information, every little detail, all the coverage you need with WWDC and everything else that's gonna happen here in the next month, all the way to the end of the year at MacRumors.com and on this YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of that info. And in the comments down below, let me know what you want to see at WWDC. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.